Quick schedule update here for the channel before we get started. There's only going to be one video uploaded today and tomorrow. I'll let you guys know why tomorrow, but for now, we'll just say I'm doing a little bit of woke espionage later tonight. But let's go ahead and get into this. I am legitimately, and to be honest with you, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. Sometimes I get accused of hating the NBA, which could not be further from the truth. I understand why some people have this perception of me. Oftentimes, when we're talking about the NBA here on the channel, my viewpoint is negative. But the reason my viewpoint is oftentimes negative is because I hate seeing what's happening to the NBA. I follow two sports religiously, the NFL and the NBA. Now, I'll watch big games in college football. I'll watch March Madness in college basketball. But when it comes to following throughout the regular season, the only two leagues I watch like that are the NFL and the NBA. We all know by now, every sports league in America has been infected with the woke fungus. Some more than others, but they've all dipped their wang in the rainbow tang. We are inclusive. We want everyone to be represented in our game. Gay Gayerson, Tran Dan, prepubescent boy, Sue Burge, Joy Wig. What about Walter White? Fuck him. There is no place for mythical racism in our league. Now you can make a strong case that no league has been more negatively impacted by the woke fungus than the NBA. Well, Casey, what about Major League Baseball? I mean, yeah. Baseball has been negatively impacted, no doubt about it. But Major League Baseball has been declining in popularity for years, maybe even decades. Attendance has declined. I'm pretty sure attendance has declined nine of the last 10 years. Maybe it's eight out of the last nine. Either way, attendance is down in baseball. Ratings have been declining for years. Major League Baseball no longer has a strong influence nationally. Well, Casey, what about the WNBA? The men in the WNBA are the wokest birthing persons in America. The fungus has actually had a positive impact on the dump. The WNBA has received more mainstream media attention over the last few years than they got the first 20 years of their existence. Pissing off their handful of viewers for walking out during the national anthem, they had the shock factor for a little while with the ability of some of these women to grow stiffies and beards at the same time. Inhabitants of the dump, they followed the path of Colin Kaepernick and Megan Rapino. They used social justice to their advantage. They used the shit fucks to boost their profile. The only difference is Colin Cucumber and the prepubescent boy, they figured out how to monetize shit fuckery. The dump divers still haven't found a way to make pesos. With the NBA, though, it's different. The dual diagnosis of stage 4 wokemia and OMB, orange man bad, it's driven away millions of casual viewers from the NBA. The league seemed to be rebounding during the playoffs last year. Ratings throughout the first and second round of the playoffs were the highest they've been in years. Steve Kerr and the Warriors fucked all that up by preaching to us about gun control. Guns are not to be used for self-defense. Bend over. Let me show you how to properly use the cock 40. Steve Kerr's sermons on gun control led to a total of zero people turning in their guns, but it did convince millions of casual viewers not to watch the NBA Finals. For the third consecutive year, ratings for the NBA Finals were in the WNBA pooper. The NBA, they opened the regular season Tuesday night with a celebration of their most recent deity, Bob Griner. Free Bobby, free Bobby, free Bobby! I shared with you guys yesterday how Steph Curry claimed SpongeBob was wrongfully incarcerated in Russia. Not going to get into that again today. Now, I was expecting opening night ratings to be low for the NBA. They were competing directly with the divisional round of the MLB playoffs. Major League Baseball has been putting up some pretty good numbers lately. If I remember correctly, I think I predicted... I think I predicted 2 million viewers yesterday for NBA opening night. I checked the ratings last night, and to my pleasant surprise, the NBA doubleheader on TNT averaged 3.3 million viewers. It was the most watched opening night in the NBA since 2017. Not only that, and this really shows how far Major League Baseball has fallen, the NBA claimed the top two spots on cable Tuesday night. Lakers Warriors, 3.5 million viewers. Sixers Celtics, 3 million viewers. The ALDS drew 5 million, while the NLDS came in around 4.1 million. Well, KC, the NBA didn't beat Major League Baseball in the ratings. Baseball had 1 to 2 million more viewers. 
Sure. Sure, that's true. Major League Baseball had the larger overall audience, but ratings, they're not ranked by uh, overall audience. Ratings are ranked by demo. And the reason they do it this way, advertisers, the people paying the money to keep the shit on TV, they only care about the 25 to 54 demo. Between 60 and 70% of the audience watching Major League Baseball was over the age of 50, whereas in the NBA, over half the audience fell into the key demo. In other words, Dudes my age were watching the NBA Tuesday night while dudes my dad's age fell asleep in their recliner watching baseball. The NBA regular season, it's not only competing with the playoffs in Major League Baseball, they're fucking beating them. That $3.5 million that the Lakers and Warriors drew, not one game in Major League Baseball came close to drawing that number during the regular season. In Major League Baseball, it runs unopposed during most of the summer. There is not shit on TV during the summer months. Hell, the NBA draft, the NBA draft drew a larger audience than every Major League Baseball game this regular season except one, the Field of Dreams game. I had someone email me the other day, diehard baseball fan. He was trying to make the case that the reason baseball is struggling is because of the media. ESPN barely covers baseball. Opinion shows like Undisputedly Woke and Woke Take, they don't talk about baseball. You go to websites of the mainstream media like the New York Times or USA Today, baseball coverage oftentimes is hidden in the middle of the page. The section for Major League Baseball is located right next to the WNBA dump. But why is that? I rarely defend the mainstream media, but I will defend their refusal to cover Major League Baseball. Media sites, media sites exist for two reasons. One, spread as much propaganda as you can to convince us that the butt bongo is the best way for men to get pregnant. And two, make money. The media is going to cover sports that generate the most interest and revenue. We might disagree with the politics of LeBron James. We might disagree with Steve Kerr on the issue of gun control. But when I make videos disagreeing with them about it, they generate views and revenue. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video about ratings in the wild card round of the MLB playoffs. It was one of my worst performing videos of the year. Now, some of that can be attributed to YouTube slowing down this time of year, but a lot of it has to do with lack of interest in baseball. Major League Baseball is extremely popular with older men, but most dudes my age couldn't give a fuck less about it. The generation coming behind us, was that Gen Z or whatever the fuck they're calling them? They care less about baseball than millennials. It's going to be interesting to see if the NBA can carry this momentum throughout the regular season. Last night, my Pelicans, they were in Brooklyn to play the Nets. I have not been this excited about the Pelicans since Chris Paul was here 15 years ago. I thought they looked great last night. I know it's only one game, but if everyone can stay healthy, talking about Zion Williamson, if everyone can stay healthy, I think the Pels are a contender in the Western Conference. But anyway, before the game last night, Kyrie Irving grabbed the cucumber and did his best impression of Steph Curry. Now, I'm not going to be as critical of Kyrie Irving as I was of Steph Curry. Steph Curry used to be one of my favorite players in the NBA, but I got to be honest with you, I've lost all respect for him. I still have a lot of respect for Kyrie Irving because he was willing to sacrifice to stand up to the bullshit last season. Kyrie took the cucumber last night to celebrate the 10th NBA season in Brooklyn, but it wouldn't be a proper celebration in the NBA without mentioning one of the biggest superstars in amateur basketball, Bob Griner. Watch for yourself. I appreciate us being able to share this floor together, all of us as brothers, but the big picture that's going on in the world is free our sister, Brittany Griner. Please, please, POTUS, do your job. Everybody do your job. Please bring our sister home. What the hell do you want Joe Biden to do? <laughs> I mean, do these people understand who they are relying on to free SpongeBob? Joe Biden uses a spoon to eat an ice cream cone. He can't fucking recognize a web address. The other day at some press conference, Joe Biden was reading the address to a government website, probably telling people where to go to collect more woke welfare. When he's reading the address, he says go to dot.gov instead of .gov. Millions of woke welfare recipients were confused. They thought he was telling them to go to the Department of Transportation to collect their woke welfare. Of course, 
They wouldn't be able to find the Department of Transportation since, you know, according to the shit fucks, poor people can't find the DMV to get an ID to vote. But like I said, it's going to be interesting to see if the NBA can maintain this momentum. I hope they can. I want the NBA to succeed. It gives me pleasure when we talk about tanking ratings in the WNBA dump. I can't stand the WNBA. Other than storing my trash, there is absolutely no purpose for the dump. But I want the NBA to succeed. It's a whole lot more fun watching when arenas are full and everyone's talking about it. I hope they can keep the woke fungus neutralized and maintain this momentum going forward. But give me your thoughts. NBA regular season, opening night, beats the playoffs in Major League Baseball. Can the NBA keep this momentum throughout the regular season or would the fungus eventually resurface and turn away the casual fan? You let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com, kc underscore btl84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.